Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how I have been making my oil painting panels. So first, what do you need to do something like this? Well first you're going to need a surface. I decided to go with a inexpensive hardboard with a whiteboard backing from my local home improvement store. But you can use anything from glass to hardwood. You're also going to need sandpaper or an electric sander, which you need paper for anyway. Um, I just used a regular hand sanding block. I would recommend an electric sander if you have one or can afford one because um, it does save your hands a lot of work. You're also going to need a brush and or a roller, um, paint roller, like you do for painting walls. I decided to go with a brush because I really don't like the texture of a paint roller, um, but if you'd like a rougher texture, definitely go for the paint roller. Next you're going to need a primer. I decided to go for a acrylic non-absorbent primer for my oil painting practices. And that might sound a little odd, but the traditional panel prime is a classic acrylic gesso, which you can find at just about any art store pretty inexpensively. You're also going to need like a rag or another soft brush to brush off. Um, excess dust from your panels from the sanding. That's another little important tool that you will like. So to start making your panels, you're first going to want to get a table saw or have a friend, parent, um, in my case my father helped me, or you can go to your home improvement store and see if they will cut them up into the size that you want. For my purposes, I decided to go for a couple 6x8s, but mainly 5x7s. So once the panels are cut up, you're going to want to sand them down. Make sure you get the edges. And the reason you want to sand the fronts of them where you're going to be priming them is because usually when you get a hardboard, especially in this case for the one that I got, um, it's going to have a very slick surface. And that slick surface is not going to be the best for the primer. So you want to make sure that it's sanded and you have a little texture there to make sure that when you're priming it, it's going to adhere properly and not cause any problems. So after it's sanded, I'm going to take a rag and in my case I used a rag, you can also use just a soft brush and I'm just going to brush off any dust that is still on the panel and it may not feel like there's anything there when you're touching it, but trust me, there's probably going to be something there. You don't want any dust particles or dirt or anything kind of in between your panel and your priming layer because that can cause problems later on such as cracking, um, maybe it'll chip off, um, which can be very irritating and you do not want that. And then finally you're going to do your priming session. So I decided to do two to three coats on most of these panels and I just did a thin layer with my brush in one direction, making sure to prime the edges as well. I let that dry overnight and I put a second coat on the next day and a third coat on the evening of the second day. Now, if, depending on what primer you're using, you might want to do more than three coats, but I found that three coats, um, sometimes with a little bit of sanding in between if they're a little thick, um, is perfect. And then this, this step is optional. It really depends on your personal preference of how you like your panels to be textured. I personally like a semi-smooth textured panel that feels a little bit like paper. So I decided to go back in with my hand sander and go back in and kind of smooth out that surface. Since I used a brush, there was some brush texture, which is kind of what I wanted. But just without sanding, it was still a little bit too rough. So... Um, that's what I do. So I hope this has helped. Um, I don't have too much footage from <laughs> my self-making panels, but I will leave some links to products that I've used or that you could check out yourself in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching.